If your games keep stuttering and you get low FPS or FPS drops on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and fix FPS drops by using a free Windows optimizer to optimize your Windows PC without any BS. So let's get right into it. Before diving into the video, I just want to make it clear that I'm not sponsored by any of this. So my review and the whole benchmark process will be completely unbiased so that you can make your judgment whether it's any good or not. And of course we will be using the free version of these tools since I never recommend you to buy any of these since they are really expensive and spending money on them is completely useless in my opinion. So starting off go down into the description and you can download both of these tools. Now the second one is for Fortnite specific and we will be getting into it later on but for now let's move on to the main tool and that is the performance v4. Once you have it downloaded right click on it and run it as admin. It is by Paragon Tweaks and you can check them out from here. Simply click on launch to launch the application. Once once it's done scanning the system, this interface should pop up. Before applying any of the tweaks, I highly recommend you to create a system restore point. Simply click on start and it should automatically start creating a restore point. Once it's done creating a system restore point, you can check windows for any corrupt files or installations and you can also install Visual C++ packages by clicking on the start button which are required for a lot of the games. But this is not what we are here for so we're gonna move on to tweaks. So the first one here is the custom power plan which perfectly allocates power to essential PC components and computing needs. So let's turn it on and let's see which one it applies. So the power plan has been successfully applied, let's check it out. And opening up the power options, you can see that Paragon Performance V4 power plan is automatically applied. It says that it favors performance but may use more energy. So for laptop users, make sure to monitor your temperatures and your battery drainage. As for the desktop users, you don't need to do anything. Frame rate optimizations, specifically tailored for FPS, adjusting performance values for all games. So we don't don't really know what this is gonna do but I'm gonna have to apply this for the sake of the video. Looking at this from what I know, it just applied a bunch of hard drive and SSD tweaks and of course there must be a bunch of other ones which we cannot see since it doesn't pause on that screen and it just moves on to this interface once again. Next is latency reduction, targets slow computing communication traffic between peripherals and system. So applying this should give us lower system latency but let's see how that works. One thing that I'm noticing and I don't like about this software is that it does not pause on this screen and doesn't let us know what it's actually applying. Which for a normal user isn't that big of a deal but for someone like me who wants to know what they're applying to their system, it's really concerning. So maybe in the next version it would be good to pause on that screen and then let the user move on to this screen. Process count offload, reduced performance usage by off-ramping useless services. So this one should disable or at least set to manual a lot of these services to lower the overall process count and maybe improve the system performance. Then the last one here is GPU performance performance profile, tweaks to improve your GPU's driver performance for both AMD and Nvidia. Since I am using an AMD GPU, this would be quite interesting, since a lot of these tweaking programs tend to favor Nvidia GPUs over AMD ones. Now that we have applied all of the tweaks, let's move on to system cleanup. So ghost device sanitation designed to remove extra or unnecessary devices from device manager. So in my opinion, it's going to do two things. One, it's going to disable the useless devices from device manager and number two, it's going to use the device device cleanup utility to remove all of the ghost devices that were once connected to your system. So I'm gonna click on start and yeah I think I was right it's going to use device cleanup and it is in the CMD form to clean up all of the devices that were once connected to this system but are no longer there and it has removed 204 devices. This cleanup will clean up the leftover files from downloads, installs, uninstalls etc. This is a built in windows utility so you don't really need this tool to run it but for the sake of the video I'm gonna click on start and as you can see it just redirects to the disk cleanup utility that is built in inside of the windows itself. Then the last one is the transient file removal, I hope I pronounced that right, clears up all temporary files and ensures that no error occur. So I'm gonna click on start and yeah it's just gonna go through all of the logs, all of the temporary files, the shaders and everything like that, even the cache and it's going to remove them. So yeah this one can really free up some space as well and it has been proven to improve the read and writes on older hard drives. This can also take a while depending on the amount of cache that you have built up on your system so you will have to be patient about this. For me, it's just removed all of it. And then there is the next steps. So here they want you to visit their website and maybe purchase one of their like services which I don't recommend at all. However, you can join their discord to look up anything that you want. But yeah, that's it for the main tool. Let's move on to the Fortnite plus settings. Now of course this one is Fortnite specific so the rest of the gamers can move on to the next chapter where I will be showing you the benchmarks for the before and after for both Fortnite and 
and Valorant. So your Fortnite gamers will need to download this one as well. Simply right click on it and run it as admin. And inside of here, the first one is the rendering mode which I have set to legacy performance mode. Now there's been a lot of debate whether the new performance mode works better or this one and from my findings this one works better on low end PCs while this one may work better for more higher end PCs. So overall I would still recommend going with the legacy performance mode. Then this is the resolution that I play at. This is the FPS cap 0 meaning that it is set to unlimited. Then reflex low latency is set to on. Audio quality whether high or low doesn't make that much of a difference now. But if you have ADHD then I would recommend going with low. Then there are the additional settings. So inside of here are a bunch of tweaks. One is the enable full screen, disable motion blur, disable grass. So this one should also really help you with FPS especially on low end PCs. Show FPS, disable anti-aliasing, custom super resolution, set DLSS to zero and you can read through all of these. It's also going to disable energy saver and mouse acceleration and basically sets all of the quality settings to zero. And all you need to do in order to apply these is simply click on apply. You can also click on recommended settings and it's going to select only those and as you can see that the settings have been automatically applied. You can also clear the Fortnite cache but make sure that you apply the settings after clearing the cache and you can then disable full screen optimizations by clicking on this checkbox since as you can see it has automatically detected my game install inside of my D partition. Now you can close out of this, launch into Fortnite or any other game that you play and I'll meet you with the benchmarks. So looking at the benchmarks starting off with Valorant. Well the overall FPS did not improve that much at all. I think it may have improved by one or two FPS but yeah the overall FPS remained pretty much the same. The only improvement that I observed was actually in the stability of the FPS. So the FPS weren't dropping as much as they were dropping before. But other than that yeah there was no visible improvement in case of Valorant. Let's move on to Fortnite now. I was really curious about this one since we not only use the main optimization tool but we also use the Fortnite plus settings. So I was expecting a noticeable improvement in not only the FPS but also the overall responsiveness of the game. And booting into it well it did not look promising. The FPS did improve but they were not as much as I had expected. However the FPS once again were a lot more stable than before. The game also felt a bit more responsive since it did manage to optimize the best settings. But yeah this is the improvement in front of you. The FPS did improve but not as much as I had expected. So what's the final verdict? So in my opinion all of you should give it a try since it is completely free and the results vary for different systems. So you might be able to get more out of this tool than I could. But other than that it's nowhere near manually optimizing your PC. So if you want to get even more performance out of your system then check out this video right now.